Well, a Playboy is getting hitched, Ooh. a racist got banned, Ooh. and Rihanna's naked again. All right, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Here to give us an update on all the good gossip this week is comedian Dale Harrison. Welcome, hey, Dale. Hey, thank you so much for having me back. Hey, girl, right. let's get into good. it. Now, yes. now, the NBA banned L.A. Clippers owner, we all know, Donald Sterling, for, um, for life after he put mm -hmm. his big racist foot in his mouth. Did he deserve it? <laughs> well, first of all, he's 87, so life is not that far away of a sentence, you know what I'm saying? This is like, uh, you're already, you're already 87, you know what I'm saying? Like, who was, uh, 81 oh, years old. Oh, 81? I thought yeah. it said 87. No, he, he looked got like a little him. more life. Oh, okay. Yeah. Life. okay. <laughs> he looks like he's 87. Um, I, I mean, I think he definitely um, deserved it, but what it is is, I don't know why we're surprised in 81 87-year-old white male is uh, mm -hmm. is still throwing out the racial slurs. Mm -hmm. He's had this history. And does know? it make a difference that he was actually dating a black woman? Half <laughs> black? She's a, come on. Well, I think what it is is when you're in a relationship, though, you know what I'm mm. saying? Relationships make you crazy. You know, you turn into a racist, you turn into a, mm. a, a, a stalker, you turn into a snooper. So, you know, with all those NBAs, you know, all those handsome, robust, tall... I don't want to say the jealous? other thing they how, have. How yeah. Oh, Lord. How much nerve do you have to have to talk about black people to a black person? Oh, well, a black person you're screwing makes it uh -oh. completely different. Well, apparently, so. now there was never any any proof that uh -oh. they actually slept together as her one of her best friends, but, you know, Oh, knows? she going to front now. But uh, more important that I there. think is interesting is that the NAAC gave him a Lifetime Achievement Award, and he donated $45,000 to them since 2007. How, why would he even... Donate that money. Oh, um, I think, oh, I okay, think break it down for I, us, I, I think why he donated that money is because before um, he, he's also been going through some racial stuff with the properties he's owned. Mm -hmm. So you know he's might, he might be trying to do one good thing to cover up another very bad thing oh. that he's always done. But I, what's, what's so interesting to me is. Did, did Donald, is, isn't he still married? Yes, yes. technically so, he is. Well, they've still, all been strange, together. So, but he's still married, yes. <laughs> like, that's the main issue here, okay? Yeah, nobody's even focusing on that. <laughs> like, you, about you're that. a cheater and a racist, <laughs> and but we'll focus on the racist part. Because wife doesn't have a problem with it. Hey, yeah, oh, you know. well, Maybe that's how well. billionaires do, I don't know. Oh, you know? I think well, we that's can go on do. for days with this one. So let's just move on. We have a lot more to get to. Okay, so TLC's former manager, Perry Pebbles Reed, is just filed a $40 million lawsuit against Viacom for her to pick in the TLC uh, biopic. What do you mm -hmm. think? Is this crazy, sexy, or cool? Oh, I, I, I think this is definitely the person that's using racial slurs toward black people at home, okay? Oh, oh. She's <laughs> not just Donald Sterling. Pebbles is at it, too, because <laughs> I'm sorry, Pebbles. You know, it's going to be hard for her to win this case when the person uh, who she's testifying against will also be in court as the as the person who has the story. You know, um, Chili and T Boz. You know, and hopefully the judge is not starstruck. You know what I'm saying? Mm, but in her fairness, she says that the actual biopic says is her quote saying that it portrayed her as being conniving and dishonest businesswoman who hoodwinked three innocent girls and exploited their talents for their her own personal gain. She, and she, she said that's not her. That she didn't go to the hoodwink though, right? She didn't go to the Malcolm X hey, well, hoodwink. Hoodwink bamboozle that a stray. <laughs> why, why does the villain never know that they're the villain? When you oh, look at all the shows, that's right? So true. If you look that's at true. the reality shows, Kelly <laughs> Uh, Price, mm. Nikki Gilbert, like they're all surprised that they're acting this way on camera, even though they're acting this way on camera. So you know does I mean? she deserve any money or nothing? Well, I don't know if she deserves any money. I think that, you know, she definitely wants to clear her name, but Pebbles, this is a good time to put out an album, babe. This is a... <laughs> oh, very nice. Good. That's how she can get some money. Yes. Okay. Well, speaking of some money, there's a lot of money clashing or coming together, I would say. Coming together. I like that. George Clooney is engaged to... Oh, why would mm. you make that face? Uh, Alma al this is a good thing. Down. He yes. said he would never do it again, but do you think this will actually stick, though, actually get married and last in the marriage together? I think so. She's a she's a lawyer, right? Mm -hmm. She's a she's an attorney. So she knows how to write so, a prenup. Yep, yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, <laughs> she also knows how to get out of one, you know. Ooh, ooh. But I think that um, I think that it probably took him this long to actually find his match. You know, mm -hmm. every woman in, in America wants George Cleanly. Wow. So you know, his other wife was probably like the lady from Coming to America, like, 
whatever you like. <laughs> whatever you, you know? Uh -huh. So she is not going to be like that. She is, she's like, I'm an attorney. I got yeah. money. I'm in that paper, you know? Okay. So, so and any other bachelors need to bite the bullet and get married next? Who's next? Um, you know what? Let me just say, is, um, let me see who I like. Yeah. Uh, is, what's his name? Um, Dang, what about I can't even Diddy? think of his name. Diddy. Diddy's got five kids. Come on, uh -huh. isn't it that time? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Go ahead and Diddy, down, huh? Diddy, Kim Porter, and you need to go ahead and do that. Just okay? Just bite that bullet, okay? Because, okay. I mean, she's basically the wife. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like Coming along. Yeah. All right, so we have to show you this clip of Emma Stone okay. lip syncing on Jimmy Fallon. It okay. is hilarious. Check okay. this out. They had a battle off. Taking all the liquor straight, never chase back. Never stop like we bring an 88. Has so much rhythm, yo. Did oh. you see that? He's yeah, they were he rocking it. Yeah. Rocking I it. I love that. I yeah. love it. I, okay. I love to see celebrities in their element, like mm. when they can play and be a real person. And you know, I just love it. I, I'm Team Emma Stone. So, team. if you had to lip sync, <laughs> which song would you sing to? What song would I be singing to? I think I would pick Jay Z, Tom Ford. Oh, right. uh -huh. okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Don't hurt yeah, him. Yeah, Tom Ford. Down. I got you. <laughs> 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 now, John Legend's new wife, Chrissy Teigen, admitted to joining the Mile High Club in wow. a recent interview. Now, you know, I'm not, no hate on okay. the Mile High Club, okay. but is this TMI? I, I think it's, I think it's really good. I'm actually jealous. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Goodness. I'm not part of the team mile high, the team side profile, the team on the ground. I'm not part of any of that. So if you can get what I find that's interesting, though, is she said they wasn't in no private booth when they did it, you know, but to their defense, if you're spending all that money on, um, you know, first class tickets, you know, you probably got flight attendants just covering up other people's <laughs> eyes and ears. Like, mm, do what y'all do, okay? That's a good point. <laughs> $6,000 a piece. Mm. Because they was on their way to Thailand, right? That's true. Yep, they were yeah, on their way to so, Thailand. so, you know. Huh. They weren't even in a pod. They were just all out in the open, under a blanket. Under a blanket. Okay. I mean, hey. You said I'm... that's all you need. Cover up a little bit. You're good. <laughs> I, I don't even need the blanket. If I'm married oh! to John Legend, I don't need the blanket, okay? Okay. Now, John, now, maybe speaking of TMI. Wrong, <laughs> wrong of TMI. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> and someone else was involved in a little TMI. Of course, Rihanna, as always. Our she girl. was in Louis Magazine. And she Instagrammed some of these pictures. And Instagram said, you you are going to be banned from Instagram if you keep violating our nudity, nudity policy. What do you think? Should her pictures be banned from Instagram? Should they cut her off? Um, first of all, Instagram, you need Rihanna on your website, oh, okay? okay? People are constantly coming. I mean, I was on Rihanna's Instagram page, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Via somebody else posting that. But the thing is, I, when I took a look at that, I was like, is that, uh, is that the love and hip-hop sex tape or is that oh. Rihanna? Because she went all out, like... Mm -mm -mm. She goes all out. You, did you see the ones with her, like, she's on her knees and her... Face down, butt up. Face down, butt up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm like, Rihanna, I think she's... I think she probably needs to go to rehab for sexiness. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> hi, my name is Rihanna. I don't think she can be cured of it. I'm addicted to being sexy. Oh, gosh. <laughs> all right, so we have to move on because we have one more for you. FHM has just named their 100 sexiest women. And Jennifer Lawrence was number one. Do you agree or disagree? <sighs> I agreed before I found out that it was in front of, it, it, it beat out Beyonce, Rihanna, uh, and was number Scarlett three. Johansson. I was shocked. Who should have um, won? Um, I, you know, I'm team Beyonce always. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Beyonce, there you go. if you like it, I knew she was a Do you think it was the movie American Hustle that just like put her over the top? They was like filling her and it was like, oh, she's. There's one good dress, in the movie. That, yeah. that beige dress. She did oh. serve it up with the hair up. She, and, the, and the gray one. Well, the thing is, uh, mm -hmm. 
I think Jennifer Lawrence, when you see her on uh, on screen, mm. it's just like that next level sexy. You know what I'm saying? Okay. It's like because you 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 fall in love with her talent, and mm -hmm. then when you see her on the red carpet, it's just like, uh, she's got yeah. this one red, and then when she had the long hair, she had this green on, and it was just like, you know, she is really sexy. But yeah. it's like well, when she I, is. another person who's sexy. Is Kim Kardashian. Uh, People was apparently number 38. Love her. Yes, was number and, 38. But, yes, and Kim well, and then Kimye, the Vogue cover. Okay, mm -hmm. the cover heard round the world. Sold over 500,000 copies. Now they beat out Beyonce and Michelle Obama. Is this the end of the world? Oh no, this is not the end of the world. Vogue magazine, this is not the end of the world. Do you see what's going on okay, here? What? Okay, what? Break it down Michelle, 300,000. Beyonce, 350. Mm -hmm. Kim and Kanye. 500, you notice the pattern here? The oh. blacker the situation, the more you're gonna sell magazines, okay? But Ooh, put on Sierra point. and Future to get that million popping, okay? Mm. Flavor Flav, five million. Stop that's no never gonna way. happen. Okay, so who <laughs> set it off? Who set it over the top? Was it Kanye? Was it Kim? Was it them together? Because a lot of people are giving her credit and not him. First of all, um, you know, shout out to her sex tape. I mean, that's me. Uh, still, that's, that's how, the truth. Seriously, if you want to do a sex tape, that's what the sex tape should be reaping in the Vogue cover, okay? Oh. Not trending on World Star so, and then dead the so next. So if week. you do a sex tape, you can get a Vogue cover. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> is that is that you're saying the path to a Vogue white, cover? No, if you're white, I mean, wait a minute. There's no. a caveat. There's I need a caveat. to ask you, is that what happens? Because I'm 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 scouting for a sex tape now. If oh, I can get the Vogue cover, Lord. there we go. Okay. <laughs> well, at least we've got a plan. Here, yes. Okay. Uh, all so, right. Sex you keep that tape to yourself. That's all I'm saying. A TMI. TMI. No. I wouldn't even want to watch my own sex. Oh, tape. stop it. That's Someone, I'm sure Someone it would. Someone would. Lovely. Yes, it would be lovely. <laughs> very, very well Tweet choreographed. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much thank for bringing so down all the headlines. We'll see you again me. sometime. Yes, indeed. Now, what do you all think about these headlines? Tweet us all about it at Arise TV 360.